It started small, but the Acts of Kindness workplace campaign at Niagara Health has taken on a life of its own. The employee-led initiative celebrated a milestone recently when they surpassed 20,000 acts. The campaign has helped foster a mindful workplace and is directly tied to the big picture. We have as one of our initiatives extraordinary caring and when we think of that our first thought goes to who's that health professional caring for us. In Niagara Health we have a broader team. We have IT people, we have EVS support staff, we have maintenance teams, we have finance teams. And so how then do they see themselves in that act of caring? And one of the ways they chose to do that was to come up with the idea of acts of kindness mm -hmm. and to record it and to do something nice for somebody and showing their way of caring, but also seeing themselves as a bigger part of Niagara Health's strategic plan in our purpose, vision, and values. Extraordinary caring every person, every time. The campaign itself was launched by members of the Information and Communications Technology team who set a modest goal at the start of the campaign. Um, we were asked by the organization to come up with our version of what we thought um, extraordinary caring was. So because we don't get to interact that often with direct patient care, we were coming up with ways that we could impact from within our area. So they started out with 1,000 acts of kindness and it has grown beyond belief. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about that? It did exactly what we wanted it to. We wanted a ripple effect one act would continue and continue and carry on and that's exactly what it did. It's amazing. Kindness Rocks has been a key component in the initiative. Recreation therapists in the mental health program along with some patients turn rocks into works of art that are then placed around the hospital. It's amazing because we're working with people when sometimes they're at a very low point or a time when they're struggling and so like Shelby said for them to be able to do a kind act for somebody else, to feel like they've given something to someone else can be really powerful for them. Acts of kindness can be as simple as holding a door, paying a compliment, or posting a note at a co-worker's workstation. Why did your department decide to get on board with the Acts of Kindness campaign? Well, I think that it uh, started out as a challenge, but it really became a movement for us. And I think just seeing how it was touching other departments, other people in the organization, patients, visitors, it was something that our department really wanted to be a part of. So it was uh, something easily adoptable for us. Have you been on the receiving end of an act of kindness? I, I have been on the receiving end of an act of kindness. Um, it's, it really makes you feel good that somebody's thought about you. Um, I've been on the giving end as well. And I think that just um, to know that 20,000 acts in those moments and how I felt, it's just pretty amazing to think about how much um, it impacts our, our um, organization and our visitors, our community. Those involved say that the campaign is far from finished. What do you think is going to happen now? Um, I'd like to see it get more community-wide, like for us to take it out to the community and find ways to take our acts of kindness and implement them out there. Like I said earlier, we've done the garden now, so that's kind of our project that we're working on now, just to kind of, you know, do more rocks for our garden and just kind of keep it moving moving forward, mm -hmm. you know, spreading that movement. It's not about personal recognition. Look at me, I did a great job. It's about recognition for the team and how it makes the team feel. And it's that famous quote, people won't remember what you said, they won't remember what you do, but they'll always remember how you made them feel. More than 20,000 acts documented proves that kindness is contagious. Congratulations to all those involved. In St. Catharines for The Source, I'm Brenda Schultz.